In this video, let me consider one numerical on superposition theorem. Find the current through 3 plus J4 ohm in the circuit shown below using superposition theorem. This is the given circuit. Here we have 3 plus J4 ohm register. We supposed to find current through this register using superposition theorem. So as we know in superposition theorem, we supposed to consider one source at a time. So this circuit includes two voltage sources. One is having phi angle 90 magnitude, other one is 50 volt voltage source. So we supposed to consider one source at a time and finding current in 3 plus J4. So first let me consider phi angle 90 volt voltage source. So in that case we have to short circuit this. Let me draw the equivalent circuit where I consider phi angle 90 source alone by short circuiting 50 volt source. So the circuit looks like this. So now I will assume that current through this 3 plus J4 I will call it as I1. So let me calculate here 3 plus J4 is parallel with J5. So I will find first the equivalent resistance of the circuit that is here 3 plus J4 is parallel with J5 that is let me find the equivalent resistance of this that is if two registers are in parallel the equivalent value is product of these two divided by sum of these two that is I can write R is equal to 3 plus J4 into J5 divided by 3 plus J4 plus J5 so solving this I will get so feed these values directly in calculator keeping calculator in complex mode. So we will get R is equal to 0 0.8333 plus J 2.5. So this register is in series with 5 ohm register. Therefore final R equivalent is we have to add 5 with this result that is 0 0.8 333 plus J 2.5 plus 5 which is equal to we have 5.8333 plus J 2.5. So now this is the total resistance or impedance of the circuit. Now we will find current in the circuit that is I is equal to V by R r is nothing but r equivalence v is phi angle 90 divided by r equivalence is 5.8333 plus j 2.5 so therefore solving this we will get i is equal to so we have 0 0.310 at an angle that is j 0 0.72 so this I is total current of the circuit. Now we will apply the current division rule and we will find current I1. As we know the current I, this is the current I. So I is nothing but this value. It will divide here. Part of the current will flow here and part of the current will flow through this path. So by applying current division rule I can find I1 as so here. I1 is equal to current through this branch is equal to total current into opposite resistor that is total current is I into opposite res resistor is J5 divided by sum of these two registers that is 3 plus J4 plus J5 that is nothing but 3 plus J9 which is equal to I is nothing but this value into J5 divided by 3 plus J9 it gives so it gives 0 0.0344 plus J 0 0.413. So this is the current flows through 3 plus J4 when we consider 5 angle 90 source alone. So now let me consider 50 volt source alone by short circuiting this. Then again we will find current through 3 plus J4 that I will call it as I2. So let, so here I will consider only this source. I have shorted the another voltage source. So let me call current through this is I2. Now again 
I will follow the same method. Here 3 plus J4 is parallel with this and in series with this. With that, we will find the R equivalence. That is R equivalent. That is total resistance of the circuit is here phi is parallel with 3 plus J4 and this whole combination is in series with J5. So let me simplify this. So this is nothing but phi into 3 plus J4 divided by 5 plus 3 plus J4 plus J5. Let me simplify this. This gives 2.5 plus J 1.25 plus we have J5. Therefore, it will give 2.5 here 1.25 plus 5 that is plus J 6.25. So this is total resistance of the circuit. Now let me find total current flows in the circuit. So let me call I is the total current flows in the circuit. Therefore, I is equal to V by R that is 50 divided by R equivalence. 50 divided by R equivalence that is nothing but 50 divided by 2.5 plus J 6.25. Therefore, I will be equal to it gives 2.758 minus J 6.896. So now let me find current I2 which flows through 3 plus J4. Therefore current I2 is equal to total current that is total current into opposite resistor divided by this plus this 3 plus J4 plus 5 that is 8 plus J4 it gives minus 0 0.344 minus J 4.1379 so therefore now I1 I2 we have found therefore the total current flows through 3 plus J4 is nothing but I1 plus I2 so therefore total current I is equal to I1 plus I2 that is I is equal to we have I1 is 0 0.0344 0 0.0344 plus J.413 and we have plus I2 I2 is minus 0 0.3 Four four minus J four point one three seven nine. So simplifying this, we'll get I is equal to minus zero point three one zero minus J three point seven two four. So let me keep the result in polar form. So in polar form, I can write I is equal to 3.73. It is a magnitude. And angle is minus 94.76 amps. So this is the current flows through 3 plus J4 using superposition theorem. Thank you for watching.